In this video, there's going to be some audio issues, and that's because of 30 mile per hour wind and some wind muffs that I put on my camera that messed up the audio. Not all the audio. I actually started dragging for catfish while waiting on Clint in the 30 mile per hour wind, and it didn't work out too well. Once my buddy Clint arrived with some bait, we found a nice spot to hide from the wind, and this happened. I'm just going to send it. Well, I got Clint with me now. And uh, I'm trying kind of a new spot here. This is all six foot of water. And I think I saw fish on a sonar. And we've got an island right here that is blocking the crazy wind. My spot that I like to fish at is over there. And it's right at a ambush spot, you could say, or a bottleneck. The fish swim right to where the bait's are. However, there's 20 mile per hour wind over there. So we're going to try here first to see if we can catch a fish. If it doesn't work out, we'll move over there and be right back in the wind. Let's put fresh on all these. This is frozen. This is one of my original dragging rigs. That is an incredibly long leader line. Six foot of water. This is going to be right at the top of the water. And we got fresh caught jack on the menu. You know, there's some small ones out there, so I'm going to cut down some of this. Clint said that's his size bait right there. Put a head on the one that's going to be floating in the water column. It's going to be fun to cast too. <laughs> I'm glad I changed over to these rigs. You can still drag with these. A little bit easier to cast. It is a long leader, but we're boat fishing here. We're not bank fishing. Well, we are bank fishing right now. I do have my other rods here at the bottom. I never converted these. So it's my original normal leader. A little bit shorter. Look at that. The heck? <laughs> and then put it through the eye? Huh. <laughs> Whoops. I'm just going to use it as is. And I'm going to show my new whisker seeker rod, bumping rod. Just so you can take a look at it. I might do a video on that another day. Okay, I'm probably going to give this, I don't know, 45 minutes and see if we can get a fish here in this really shallow water. I got them. Huh. I guess they do like being in six foot of water. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Can't tell. It's gotta be really little. Yep. <laughs> now this is why I put out the little pieces. Because I know there's a lot of little ones here. And I guess they do like the six foot of water. 
because to cast to anything deeper, I'd have to do a catfish dade cast. A couple hundred yards. Cool. Not skunked. <laughs> awesome. That's a, a beautiful blue. Baby blue. It's not the smallest I've ever caught, but hey, it's a fish. I take them. Awesome. <laughs> Row up. What? You think something hit it? Something hit it. Can't tell. Clint thinks something hit that one. I get this one back out. Still got my bait and hey look! It's on the bling bling rig. the horrible cast. Let's try that again. <laughs> Got one on this one. It looks like you let go. Maybe not. Yep, got one on this one now. <laughs> well, new spots paid off. I've never banked here to try to fish for any catfish. this was a bigger piece. I don't know. Maybe it was a small piece. <laughs> well, found the babies. And this is normal for this cove. There's either 100 pounders in this cove or there's little bitty ones. When you're catching babies like this like crazy, that means there's a healthy population of bigger cats. So maybe one will drop by soon. Grow up. <laughs> that might be a fish. It keeps letting off and taking it out. Yeah, he's probably hooked himself. My camera is going to die. The battery's just about dead. We got looks like yet another fish. Heavy. Clint's on the bank trying to catch skipjacks. I don't know what this is. What the heck? <laughs> well, here's a, I guess maybe a little bit bigger one. It's about 70 degrees right now, too, so we're. We got some uh, weird weather going on. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. He's been sitting there the whole time. Yeah, uh, you probably want to get the net for this guy. Huh? Or, yeah, bank land him. Then we'll get another bite. Man, I picked a good spot here. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. That one still on over there. Okay. Clint's going to finish landing that one. Uh, maybe swim towards the boat. And he's still there. Cross the other line. 
something out there that I don't know about or this is just another big one he's in another line small piece of bait bigger fish <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh wow I think I found my new favorite spot fishing in extreme wind has paid off pretty good. <laughs> and a double. This is not that bad either. Look at that. <laughs> I don't even think I have a hook. Careful. No, that's the other line, isn't it? <laughs> I'm catching all the fish and Flint's not getting in any fish. You're going to get the next ones. Two very nice caps. <laughs> I was not expecting this today. Very, very nice. Cool. All right, go and let these guys go. <sighs> That's the bank. You got to swim the other way. <laughs> there you go. Wow. That's really cool. Back to back fish. That's tired me out. Clint's turn now. Whoa, yeah, he's bending the rod pretty good. Seem pretty big? Nope, he's not there. He got off? Ah. Didn't get cut the line? Oh no. Yep. Aww. All right, I did a real quick and dirty rig here. Just a float. Oops. Hook, leader line, 80 pound leader line. This is 30 pound main line, which the main line got cut on whatever rock or whatever is out there to drop off. And I kind of understand the spot now, and I'll show you why once I go back out. In fact, I will avoid putting anything else on the left side here. I'm gonna try this way. Put it down here. Now, if you look here where Clint is trying to catch skipjacks at, see rocks give you guys a better view and you see this rock ledge here and it turns into kind of a gravel from rock so that probably extends out there into the water where my lines are where it cut my line this is actually a good place to look for catfish because it's a transitional area you've got hard rock turning into mud gravel sand whatever find the birds find the fish Look at all the birds. <laughs> Gonna bite on the left one. Might be a little one. No, try reeling down on it. I think he's there. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. They're so small you can't tell that they're on the line. The little ones. It's going sideways, so you got him. Oh, no. <laughs> on that rock. 
back or whatever. We might not throw that one back out once we get in. Oh, a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, he's wrapped up in that line. <laughs> Well, Clint gets to catch the catfish today. <laughs> uh -oh. Birds nest the heck out of that one. They've been getting hooked weird today. Huh. Well, that's not bad. Wow. Cool. Future hundred pounder. Not a bad day. It is getting warm out here. My jacket off. It's like it's weird. It's the weather's warm, but the wind is cold. Oh, that's the fun to cast one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, almost hit that bird. Wasn't recording for that one. On a battle cat. He's going to swim into that right line. I've taken some of my paying guests to this cove before, and I tell you what, none of them have been disappointed. We always catch fish, a bunch of little ones, and then we get a big one, or two or three. Just, I haven't caught any, like, absolute monsters yet. I've seen them. I've seen 80 pounders come out of here. It's one of those things, it's time on the water. Eventually, I get one, or one of my clients, one of you will get one. And yes, I'll use this as an opportunity to say I'm a fishing guide too. Another nice one, that's not bad. <laughs> cool. That's bigger than the little ones I caught. All right, let them go, let them grow. Oh, that was the, the bling bling rig too. We've been catching a few on this thing. These are actually Whisker Seeker beads and a Whisker Seeker uh, rattle and a Whisker Seeker like EVA foam float. So I guess bling bling does work. All right, hopefully another one will drop by. Left one again. Biting so weird. Huh. He may have dropped it this time. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to reel, reel him down real quick. Go ahead and reel it all the way in. Maybe it's a little one. Did we put a big piece out? No, small piece. <laughs> well, maybe next one. I think he's there this time. 
That didn't take long. You threw it out. I stopped recording and got a hit. <laughs> you think we got him this time? <laughs> Bigger than the ones I was catching earlier. <laughs> it's cool. Little blue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I take pictures, <laughs> even if it's that small. Cool. I know I say cool a lot, but hey, we're catching fish. Or I should say, Clint's catching fish right now, and gonna try a couple more and then we've actually got to leave a little bit earlier than I want to I have a meeting in about an hour that I got to go to so we probably got 30 more minutes all right guys we are going to reel up and head back to the ramp not a single bite that's uh, it's like they just turned off all the birds decided to land and are swimming on top of the water too I'm always happy to see fish in this cove. And there's a few other coves I'm going to try out in the future, so stay tuned. And I would like to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. I hope some of you may have got to learn something new. Shallow water, six foot of water with small baits caught bigger fish. I don't think any of the bigger baits got touched. It was all on little tiny bait that was smaller than the hook itself. It was just a matter of time before I get something 50 or greater in the boat. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed, and once again, thanks for watching.